Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IX. We're here in Alexandria Castle with Aiko, who just finished writing a love letter to Zidane, thanks to the help of Dr. Tot, because his scholarly background allows him to be so much better with words than six-year-old little Aiko. So let's go deliver the, 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 the letter. Where am I going? Zidane is in town! What if we go up here? I want to explore the place. Oh, come on! That room was cool and I didn't even get to explore it fully last time since I was kind of running away from guards. But fine, we will go into town. Oh, I can't wait to hand this letter to Zidane! Where did he go anyway? Ah! Ah, help! Hey, are you okay? C c can't breathe! Oh, look at her flail! Sorry, I didn't see you jump out. Uh, I guess I should have like a more gruffy voice for Baku. How am I gonna do that? But you're too up high. I can't get you down. <laughs> Stop laughing, you poop. Oh shoot, my letter. Hey, if you can't get me down, deliver that letter to Zidane. To Zidane. Obviously, I'm not very good with my words. To Zidane? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> How does she know that Baku knows Zidane? Did she meet all of Tantalus before? What am I supposed to do now? <laughs> look at her flail, this is so amusing. Oh my god, look at her go. She's like a bobblehead. That'd be pretty cute to get an Echo bobblehead. What's he doing at the castle anyway? Seems so random. Hey, the boat ain't here! I can't do a gruffy voice right now, my throat's kinda dry. Castle patrol completed. Huh? Why, if it isn't Baku, the leader of Tantalus. Who just called my name? I'm just making him sound like old now. Oh, it's you. Should we capture him? No, he saved my life. You may go. I will handle this. Yes, sir! No, oh, he's not being such a... Yeah, such a knucklehead anymore. Silence! This is no place for thieves. You must leave now. So that's how it is, huh? Do I gotta remind you that one of my boys saved your kingdom? But I bet you ain't got no ears for listening to a lowlife like me. Are you talking about Zidane? Yes, he did protect the princess and her kingdom. But that doesn't change the fact that you are all thieves. I cannot let your kind roam about the castle. No appreciation whatsoever, eh? Well, I don't got any reason to stay here anyway. Hey, you know where Zidane might be? He hasn't visited the castle since we returned. Maybe he can teach you a thing or two about proper manners. Okay, I get your point! I've had enough of your self-righteousness. I just dropped my letter. Perfect timing. Well, there goes the letter. Take me into town. Orders the soldier around. And she just takes it. It's Beatrix! Beatrix! Her music is so pretty. Ah, so it was Steiner. I thought I heard him yelling. <sighs> Alexandria is at peace again, yet my heart is full of sorrow. Why? Hmm? Oh dear. Steiner must have dropped this. Oh, man. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. Wh what is this letter? Did Steiner... Write me a love letter? <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh my gosh. I forgot about this. Oh, uh, I mean, it's cute, but I just completely forgot about it for some reason. Are you all cozy on your throne already? No. No, no, no. I can't start my day without a dagger. <laughs> Zidane, what the hell? Her smile, her voice, her voice is like a beautiful song. Her song makes me soar high into the sky. 
Zidane, why the hell are you saying this to yourself? Oh my god, this is so corny. You can still fly high, darling. Zidane, you can do it. She's right. Why are you still moping? This isn't like you at all. Yeah. Stop it. You don't understand how I feel. Ugh, stop being an emo teenager. Long time no see, Zidane. What happened? You look pathetic. Boss, let me join Tantalus again. We can still treasure together, just like old times. Treasure, eh? There ain't much treasure lying around in this world, boy. Besides, a Tantalus always gets what his sight what he sets his eyes on. That's our number one rule. Rule number one, remember? <laughs> I can't read! No, you don't. You got no right to join us. You understand what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Boss. Vivi? Hey, Zidane. Can we go see Dagger? <laughs> Why can't you be more honest like this little guy? Learn a thing or two from nine-year-old Vivi. Can we? Can we? Please? Alright. Let's cheer her on before she becomes a queen. Yeah! Aww. What a career change, huh? Huh? I have no idea what you're talking about. Man. Alright. <clears throat> I guess we're gonna go... Oh wait! I forgot! What is this? Darn, I forgot to give that... Give Zidane that letter. I can't read! I'm mixing up all my words! Huh? 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 Wah! <laughs> I lost it! Oh, Baku. Alright, now... Let's head to the castle, then. Not through the rooftops this time, of course. That's Zidane. Doesn't even stop by to say hello. It's Freya! An Amaranth? What are you staring at? Are you really that tough? Try me! I don't go looking for trouble, but I'll fight back if trouble finds me. Why don't you apologize and maybe I'll forgive you? Ha! What the hell, man? You guys have, like, attitude problems? You just look at each other and it's like, what the fuck? Bring it! Okay, why are you blipping? Hey, what's going on here? Zidane! I'd love to stop and talk, but I'm busy right now. Is she... a friend of yours? Then tell her who I am. Tell her I'm the Flaming Amaranth. <laughs> Sorry, Amaranth. She's just a little worked up about something. Sorry, babe. They're my friends. Will you let them go for my sake? S sure. Princess Garnet asked us to give special treatment to you, Master Vivi, and Miss Freya. Dagger. I, I see. Thanks. Hey, Freya, stop being so mad, alright? Do you know why I'm really mad? It's because of you! Where have you been? Dagger is about to become queen and you're off wandering about. Have you found out anything more about Kuja? Well, answer me! Um... Well, I tried to find more info, but... Look, if Kuja was responsible for taking Dagger's Edelons and killing Braun, who was working with him, don't you think he'd come after Dag Dagger again? I know. But what can I do? I couldn't even talk to her, remember? I don't even know if I can protect her. Besides, she's gonna be queen. She'll have all the guards she'll need. She won't need me. But Zidane, I think Dagger wants to see you. So, let's go see her. Yeah. But we'll leave as soon as we're done. Zidane, you're not getting away from me. You still owe me a rematch. Suit yourself. Emmer just has to find an excuse to tag along. 
Alright, uh, let's, uh, oh, wait, we have a full party now, don't we? We haven't seen Frey in a long time. Oh, so we don't have that ice spear that I was looking at earlier. Alright. Um, let's quickly go to the, uh, to the weapon shop then, and maybe the synthesis shop too, and figure some stuff out. I will meet you guys there! Okay, not that it was a long trip or anything, but let's take a look here. We were gonna get an Angel Bliss, I think, for Zidane from the, uh, the uh, Synthesis Shop. Here's an Ice Lance for you, we got Poison Knuckles for you. Um, Mithro Armlet. To use one of those. I think Aiko needs one too, doesn't she? We'll grab another one. Hmm. Magic armor, we don't have any of those, but it might be useful even though it's not good in terms of defense. I don't know what it teaches, I want to find out. And... Oh, we need a Lamia's tiara, tiara for... Freya, a hat for Amaranth, twist headband. Hmm. Let's grab two of those. Got that stuff. Brigandine! Grab another one of those. Plate mail, that's new. We can grab two. One for Freya, one for Steiner, and that's it. Alright, let's head over to the synthesis shop. Synthesis. Then. Synth. What? Well, you can read. I'm just not gonna even go there. Okay, let's see here. Fairy earrings. We already. Ha I thought we had one, th one of these, but I guess not. Earrings that raise spirit. Hmm. I'll grab one of those just in case, I guess. An anklet. It also raises spirit. Uh, raises strength. That might be good for Zidane. And what does this do? I don't want to use up my moonstone yet. I'm gonna need that later. Boots that are light as a feather. Uh... I don't know, man, like... Sure, whatever, I'll just grab a bunch of crap. Okay, we're good, let's go back to the castle. I will meet you guys there once again, even though it's a short walk. Okay, to the castle. Go to the castle? Yes. That must be a really tiring and boring job. To just ferry people across all day long in no pants. All right, let's do some exploring here. I haven't been in this castle for a while, and of course, this place is locked, like usual. Usual. Oh, lapis lazuli. If that's how you pronounce it. Okay, that's it. Is this locked? No, it's not. All right. Oh wait, this is where we went to uh, save Dagger. Oh wait, what's here? Phoenix pinion. Ooh. Finding things that didn't really notice before. Whoa. That's interesting. Wow. You can reach the harbor by riding the Neptune statue. Okay, I'm guessing that's to the uh, the basement dungeon thing where where uh, Dagger was <clears throat> hidden. Or not hidden, captured. But let's take a look. This looks kind of cool. Why is the water green? It's a little disgusting. And how is that step like the statue just floats down? I don't understand. Are those stairs? No. Okay, let's keep going. I'm just wasting time here. The red rose can't fly because there is no mist. Uh-huh. Restricted access. Well, nobody was standing there to tell me. You just left it open and then you're just gonna tell me no, you can't go. Let's go back to the castle. I don't even know how this works. <clears throat> Especially if it's gonna float up? Like, how does that- how does that work? 
Why not float up after all? Huh. Then how did it... Oh, I guess it's kind of like a, uh... I don't even know what it's called. Those things that boats dock at? And then, like, you go inside a gate, and then they close another gate, and they, like, either raise the water level between those two gates, or lower it in order to get the boat out of the harbor into the... Oh, Into the ocean or whatever. This is no way to treat a lady! Quit screaming, or I'll throw you into the dungeon. Gah! What happened, Aiko? Sedane! Oh, it was horrible! He called me a liar and a lo loudmouth and a brat! He's right. What did you say? Do you want to repeat that? <coughs> oh, my... <coughs> Need to clear my throat. Man, I hate kids. Calm down a little. What is your name? Me? I'm Aiko. Aiko Carol of Medine Sari. And you're not even looking at Freya when you're talking. From Medine Sari? Why, I've never heard of it. Don't you know anything? Medine Sari is a... Silence! What are you all doing here? This is the royal castle. You do not belong here. Hello, Mr. Steiner. Master Vivi, a pleasure to meet you again. I came here to see Dagger. The princess? Hmm. If that is Master Vivi's wish, I shall arrange a meeting. Of course, the, the little black mage has more influence than all of them combined. <clears throat> you all wait right here. Or right there. Princess, we are ready. <gasps> Dagger! She's so pretty. Thank you for coming, everyone. She looks beautiful. Wow, you look beautiful. Splendid. Zidane, have you nothing to say? No. Princess, we must go now. Zidane. Oh, you guys. Jeez. Dagger, wait! Dagger, is this the last time we're ever going to see each other? Oh, oh no, of course not. I won't be able to wander around the world with you anymore. But I'll never forget our journey together. Dagger, I wanted us to remain good rivals forever. Rivals? Eiko, you say funny things sometimes. Oh, there are some things I wanted to give you. Let's trade the jewels as a symbol of our friendship. Two of my jewels. Two of my jewels? Goodbye, Eiko. I'm sorry, but when they said two of my jewels, I just... Ah! Uh, my mind is always in the gutter. I am sorry. And Zidane, you blew it. I don't know. I tried. And? I couldn't say anything! I had a whole speech ready for her. But it would have been a lie. How could I lie to her? Good luck, Dagger. I'll be watching you from afar. Come find me if you need someone to talk to. It's a big fat lie. That's not how I feel at all. That's not how I feel at all. Oh, Zidane. What an angsty little teenager you are. Ooh, I like this music. Oh, I really like this music. So, there's only room for Dagger in Zidane's heart. I wish I hadn't written that stupid letter. Zidane looks so sad. Isn't there anything I can do for him? Ah! Zidane, I hate you! You insensitive fool! You don't even know how I feel. I feel bad for about, about ditching him, but I really don't feel like seeing him tonight. I gotta hide before he shows up. Shoot! Someone's coming! Could it be Zidane? What? What are those two doing here? There's no one here, bro. I guess I'm early. Maybe. I wonder who wrote you that love letter. What? Well, just read the letter. I bet she's beautiful. 
Really? Are you sure you didn't write it yourself? <laughs> I mean, you caught the letter falling from the floor above you, right? I'm telling you, she was too shy to hand me the letter herself. And if you don't think I'm a ladies' man, you're wrong. Chicks are intimidated by good-looking guys. Someone's coming! Marcus, don't interrupt me when I'm coming. Let's hide, bro! Alright, alright. Oh my god, these guys are hilarious! I must tighten up security around the castle from now on. Dusk to dawn, rain or shine, I must con I must patrol the castle. Right, clear. Left, clear. Huh? Oh my god. It's a piece of paper. This looks like a letter. Let's see. When the night sky wears the moon as its pendant, I shall await you at the dock. M m my goodness! Th this is a love letter! Who wrote it to whom? Hmm. No address or addressee. Did someone drop it here knowing that I would pass by? Who could it have been? Oh my god! <laughs> Steiner. Beatrix, was it you? <laughs> Are they in love? B bro. Shh, quiet. Steiner. Beatrix. Ooh, what's gonna happen? M my nose is bleeding. <laughs> Stick your thumb up! <laughs> Achoo! Oh my god, way to ruin everything. Boss? Oh, you totally ruined the scene! Oh, that was disappointing. <laughs> that was really funny, though, I have to say. I am so amused. That's a Dane. Where did he go? Who knows? I'll go look for him. Ah! Hey, watch it! I'm not in a good mood right now. Stay out of my way! Oh, Aiko. Poor Vivi. Excuse me? Have you seen a young lady named Aiko? Oh! It's the nerdy guy! Ha <laughs> You're as energetic as ever! Yep, I'm always that energetic. But I'm actually hurting around the inside from being rejected by Zidane. Did you say something? No, I didn't. Didn't you come here to talk to me about something? Oh yes, I almost forgot. Your village. What was the name? Madain Sari. Yes, I wanted to ask you a few questions about Madain Sari. Sure, I'll tell you everything I know. You help me out. But why don't we go to your place? We can relax there. To my home? My home is located in Treno. It's a bit far from here. Treno? Sounds like a cool place. Uh, this is so there's something weird about, you know, a little girl just inviting herself over to this old man's house. It's just not right. There's a card game tournament going on in Treno right now. I want to participate. A card game tournament? Sounds fun! I wanna go too! I'd like to go as well. Treno, huh? Ha ha ha! Quite a party this is becoming! It would be my pleasure! We shall all go to Treno! Well, I guess now we know where to go! Alright, uh, that's gonna cut it for this episode. We've got plenty of, um, cutscenes done. Certainly lots of progression between Steiner and Beatrix. Alright, so uh, next episode, I guess we'll uh, go through, what is this place again, Gargan Rue? And head over to Treno, and maybe play some card games, who knows. Alright, thanks for watching, and see you guys then.